Hey, hey. It's another Monday. Getting chilly outside. It's not so bad right now, but this morning I had ice on my window and I did not know it. So I had to get some hot water because I did not know where my scraper was. But I work out in the morning, so it actually helps a lot with it being really cold outside. Like some mornings, if I don't work out, I'll go outside and like 35 weather. Yeah, definitely cold as shit. But whenever I work out, it's, it don't. I'm already really warmed up, so I don't mind it that much. <laughs> well, I hope everybody had a great weekend, and I hope everybody has a great beginning of their week. It's kind of like a slowish blah day, I guess. Everybody seems kind of, I don't know, quiet and not woke. It's like they need to wake up. Wake up! <laughs> but... Energy levels sometimes on Mondays are a little low. So, you don't have so much energy and talkative people and happiness and bright minds and whatever. Just try to stay positive, at least. Brighten up somebody's day, smile at them, say hey, hold the door open for them. Send them a loving message. I know a lot of people like to do them little... um post things not really sure what you call them but they're like cute little posts that you send to people like hello happy monday have a great day you know whatever your kind of thing is i know everybody kind of does different things me personally i like to smile and say hey hope you're doing good hold the door open for somebody i come into work i normally go around saying good morning I'll say good morning to everybody, even if they're like half asleep and not fully woke yet. I'll still go around and say good morning and smile at them. You know, kind of brighten up a little bit because, I mean, it is first thing in the morning. So, I don't know. When I wake up and go straight to work, I seem to be kind of more not energetic and super, super smiley and talkative, you know. Like, I gotta, I gotta wake up a little bit. So, I do get up super early here lately since I started working out again in the mornings. I've been getting up around 3.45 in the morning. 3.45 in the morning. It is, it's, it's early. And you've got to definitely push yourself to do that. Because, trust me. It is very easy to push that little snooze button and go right back to sleep. So, most of the time I do set my alarm for both times. And then if I go ahead and get up, I'll cut off my later alarm. But, I don't know. I've been doing pretty good for the past couple of weeks. Getting up at 3.45 in the morning. But, I get up at 3.45. And I give myself about 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes to get woke up and change into my workout clothes and... Uh, I do have to do a pre-workout because it is early and I need some dang energy. But I'll try to do that as soon as I wake up so that go ahead and kicks in by the time I get all my stuff ready to work out. So, I mean, if you got a busy schedule, it's not impossible to work out. I know a lot of people say they don't have time or they work a lot. I do work a lot and I really don't have that much time. But I make myself get up earlier to work out so that I do it. Because me personally, I work long days. I normally work 10 to 12 hours a day. And that's at work. That's not counting the commute time or nothing else. That's just my in the job, on the clock hours. It's 10 to 12 hours a day. And I normally work Monday through Friday or Saturday. Depends on if we're working on Saturday. If we're working on Saturday, I always work. So, sometimes I'll do 50 to 60 hours. I normally do around 55 to 60 hours is my average. So, it makes it hard to work out in the evenings. Because by the time I get off in the evenings, I do not want to work out. Nope. Not even a little bit. Nope. Not even for 15 minutes. I just don't want to do it. And... A lot of times, I'd like to do something with the family in the evenings, you know. 
even if it is just sitting there doing arts and crafts or watching a movie together i mean it's something because kids and family don't care as long as you're doing something together and they see that they don't really care they really don't but spending time with them and working all the time it does kind of put a damper if you're wanting to work out or start working out or keep working out some people work out and then they'll quit after a while it's hard to stay motivated it is you have to have that mindset and you have to push yourself don't depend on somebody else that's i try to tell people this because my opinion me personally if i depended on a friend to go work out with them and they decided hey i don't want to go it's going to make you not want to go so if you depend on another friend to work out with to motivate you try to back off of it a little bit try to go more on your own or if you don't want to go to a gym do it at home there is a lot of stuff you can look up and do stuff at home me personally i work out at home all the time because i get up super early and there's not a whole lot of gyms that's open that early and basically if i went to a gym instead of at home i would need more time because then i'd have to drive there and then i'd have to change and shower there and a lot of gyms don't have showers and stuff so there's no way there's no way me personally could go to a gym in the morning. So I have to motivate myself to get up super early and work out. I only work out 30 to 40 minutes a day. Uh, my average is 40 minutes, but like if I wake up a little bit later or I do something before I work out, I mean, I'll cut it down to 30 minutes. But my average is about 40 minutes a day, 40 to 45 minutes. It don't matter. If you do 30 minutes, it don't matter. That 30 minutes is going to help you a lot. And it helps give me energy for the morning like it really does. It really wakes me up and helps me. Personally, it helps me. But I work out at home. I get up at 345. I get ready and I start working out about 4 to 410. And then I start getting ready for work. At 450 because I have to leave my house by 520 because I go to work early but it helps because if I wait and go in the evening I'm not gonna do it me me personally I'm not gonna do it after working 10 to 12 hours in the day I do not want to go home and work out but if I do it before I go to work I will do it I'll motivate myself to wake up early and do it I do it by myself uh, with my headphones in and if I'm stuck and I don't know what workout to do or I want to do something different, I'll look it up. Look it up. I mean, it's amazing how, many, how much stuff you can do at home. You just got to motivate yourself. Don't depend on somebody else to do it with you and make you do it. Because trust me, I did that for a little bit. And the person I was going with stopped going. Like, they would go every now and then, you know. They went a few times a week. Then they went a couple times a week. Then they went once a week. And then they just stopped altogether. If I depended on that person to go with, I wouldn't have never went. Some people do really good, though. Like, me, if I had more time, I'd go to the gym every day. But I don't. So I do work out every day. Last week, I only did four days. Uh, the week before that, I only did three days. It's what you can do. And don't over push yourself at first. Just pace yourself until you're more comfortable doing it. But trust me, if you want to do something, you're going to motivate yourself to do it. Push yourself. Yeah, if you're draggy and kind of not energized to do it, I mean, start off a little bit at a time. Don't over exert yourself and then not want to do it because you ever did it at first you know go at your own pace and motivate yourself and do it because trust me you can do it no excuses do the shit you got kids that keep you busy do it before they wake up because guess what that's what i used to do there's always a way if you have the will to do it well i hope everybody has a great rest of their monday and the rest of their week and I will talk to y'all later. If you like this, like, share, comment, go like my page, 
Go check us out on Bathhouse Legends where all your natural skincare products are awesome. And I love our soap. Everyday use and it suds up so well that you do not need much of it. So it lasts a long time. I love it. And our smells are strong and great. Check us out. Trust me, you'll love it. You really will. And my hair, oh, definitely helps if you need thickened up hair and longer hair. And the beard oil is pretty awesome, actually. So if you're looking for a beard this winter, come check us out. BathHouseLegends.com and just go through the products. See what you like. Try us. I promise you, you will not regret it. Well, I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.